am apologizing in advance that all you're going to see today are my knees and my feet because today's posture video is about feet and about our knees. So we have worked on keeping our hips behind, our bottom behind our back, relaxing the glutes so we're not clenching our glutes, keeping our balloon head and just making sure that our bowls are balanced in our pelvis and our rib cage. Now, I have spoken about the knees in the past, but just again to emphasize, we don't want to lock the knees out because it's a lot of pressure and strain on the joints. And then we're not actually relying on the muscles to support the joint. Okay, so instead of locking them out, just keep a slight soft bend. And you might notice that it actually assists with changing the level of your bowls in your pelvis and your ribs. Okay, so soft knees. And then the second thing is making sure that our feet are grounded properly. So if you look down at your feet, just take notice, where do you feel the pressure goes? Does it feel more in your heels? Does it feel more in the front of your feet? Does it feel maybe the outsides or the insides? And once you have that awareness, we want to make sure that we are grounded through our big toe our pinky toe and our heel together. So when you press down through the floor with those three things, so it's like, it's like an anchor, uh, a tripod, okay? So you've got the three, like I'm filming on my tripod and it's exactly the same with our feet. So I'm anchoring down like a tripod with my feet to help support and balance my body. Now, when we are pressing down through our feet like that, it actually gives us better core control. It helps our pelvic floor function because if you were to be toes lifted, it's actually an automatic loss of core control. Isn't that interesting? So when we anchor through the big toe, the pinky toe and the heel evenly into the floor, then we allow our core control to support our body and our overall function of our body improves just through focusing on our feet. So take notice when you're standing and lying somewhere next time. If you can, I encourage you to be more barefoot because it's really important for our feet. If your toes are really bunched up, maybe if you wear heels all the time or just shoes that bunch your feet up like this, try and wear some toe separators like if you're getting your nails done wear them around the house and try and allow your feet and toes to have the movement that they need because it will change your base of support and it will change the function of your pelvic floor and it will also change your core control. So the more space we can have for our toes, the more we can anchor into the floor and therefore give ourselves better core control and pelvic floor function. Okay, so give your toes space to breathe, be barefoot more often, tripod through the feet and soft knees.